trouble here. Gustafson's in trouble. That's John it. Jones has That's regained it. the throne. So John Jones has asked the question, who would you guys want to see me fight the most, Alex or Tom? So he's talking about Alex Pereira or Tom Aspinall. And then he quoted a tweet saying, interesting. And the person said, I think Alex would be more marketable and better for your legacy, but I feel like Tom would fare better, especially in the terms of wrestling and grappling. John Jones said, interesting to that. So that tells me that people know that John Jones versus Alex Pereira means it's gonna be a one dimensional fight. If John feels like he can't stand and throw blows with Alex, he's going to take it to the ground and Alex is going to struggle there just a little bit. Then he tweeted, you actually think me fighting Tom would be more massive than Alex and I colliding? Tom only matters in the UK. Newsflash, Pereira is one of the most polarizing figures in this sport. Tom is a contender who won a belt against another contender. We had to save Madison Square Garden's main event. I'm thinking dollar signs, legacy, big picture here, not what UK fans are dying to see. Literally just went through this with the French fans. Now hear me out. That's a little bit crazy coming from John Jones because right now Tom Aspinall is one of the names that's bubbling and it's going to be a good thing for him to do. If he fights Tom and beats Tom, that's a good precedent. You beat Tom Aspinall, now you go fight Alex Pereira. But John Jones wants to jump over the hurdle and to me it's looking like I'm getting a little bit older and I want to make the most money I can make. Right now, Alex Pereira is selling and he's making numbers. This guy is posting on Instagram and getting over half a million likes. Do you know how crazy that is? That's how many people are dialed in and watching Alex. So this is for me, he said it himself. I'm seeing dollar signs, the bigger picture. John Jones is getting older. He's going to retire soon permanently. He wants to get as much money as he can while getting beat. It is what it is. So I feel like this is just a money thing for him. And don't get it twisted. I like John Jones. That's right now my top two would be John Jones, then Alex Pereira. Like Portan is new. I haven't got that bond I have with John Jones with Alex yet. So don't get it twisted. It's not that I think John Jones is like a bad guy or whatever, but it is what it is. Also him saying that Tom is only matters to the UK. Yes, Tom does matter significantly more to the UK, but he's a name that's going around the world, especially after he beat Sergey the way he did. People are talking about Tom and he has pull. And yes, the UK is a smaller place or whatever, but there's a lot of people from the UK around the world that are gonna tune in. There's a lot of people from the EU. So don't forget, just because you're saying the UK doesn't mean you're taking the rest of Europe. I know there's a whole Brexit thing happened, but the rest of Europe also care about Tom. Not as much as the UK, but they all do. So there's millions and millions of people who care about Tom. If you look at his numbers, they've been growing rapidly for the past couple of months. So you can't just say it's only for the UK fans. A lot more people want to see Tom fight and you fighting Tom gives Tom a good look, and if you win, it gives you an even better look. So we can't just dismiss Tom Aspinall. If he fought in that division as a contender, got the interim title, fight him, and tell him, you're just an interim boy, you're not good enough to be the champion. If you're so confident, do that. That's what you have to do, John. Then John Jones also went on to say, it would be absolutely massive. A guy with a chance to be three division champion and a GOAT versus the actual GOAT, same age, different strengths this to me just says different strengths so you know if you take alex to the ground it's going to be a one-dimensional fight no one kind of wants to see that we want alex to get a little bit more seasoned in the ufc yes he's had a lot of fights in kickboxing yes he's had a few fights in the ufc but john jones live and breeds ufc he lives and breeds mma he's been fighting since he was a boy he's had so many battles and that comes with experience no one can argue that that would be the biggest fight in MMA history. Arguable. There's absolutely no fight that generates a payday like that. Marketing would be insane. Yes, it would generate a lot of payday. But again, John Jones knows that if he does take this fight and if Alex does come to fight him, he has the upper hand. And I don't feel like it's fair to put Alex, who's coming up, he's like a steam train right now, to just make him skip all the hurdles, skip all the character building moments, and put him in the deep end. You can't take a freaking six month old lion cub to go fight a two year old male who's in his prime. That's not fair. John Jones coming off all of this has so much to prove. There's so much on his back. He's going to give it his all. 
Alex is still trying to enjoy the fame and the winnings and everything he's doing. He's still learning how to be in this cage. He's not used to the cage. He's just getting used to the cage and he's doing so much. So I believe John Jones calling him out now is just telling us that, hey, I want to clip his wings before he gets too comfortable in here. I want him to jump so far ahead. Like I want him to run before he can crawl. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And this is kind of, a, it's a smart thing for John Jones. Don't get it twisted. John Jones, this is smart, brilliant play, but I don't think Alex should take this on. But we did see Alex saying, hey, my walk around weight is heavyweight. Once the commission says, okay, I'm down. This isn't great. I don't care how confident you are. If you cannot knock John Jones outstanding, or if you put him on the ground and then he grabs you and he puts you on the ground, it's going to be a tough fight for Portan. And then John Jones also goes and asks, if Alex became champion of the heavyweight division, would you guys consider him the GOAT? Being back in the gym has got me thinking differently. That fight after Stipe may be the biggest move I could possibly make. Again, we see John Jones talking about the biggest move he could make. This killer has already defeated so many champions and is already considered a legend to millions around the world. The most massive fight the UFC could make. Give Alex a chance to avenge all those great Brazilian champions I've defeated. So again, to me, this is just John Jones poking the bear. He's poking the bear. He wants to get people annoyed enough to say, you know what, Alex, go in there and fight him and you're going to win when he's unprepared. And I don't want Alex to go into this being overconfident and end up losing. That We can't have that. <laughs> Alex needs to have his moments and shine. He needs to at least defend his title on his other divisions before going into another division and getting beaten. That's not going to be a nice thing. It's going to leave a sour taste in our mouths. Yes, it's going to make John Jones richer. Yes, I wouldn't mind seeing that. But right now, give Paul time some more time to shine. And he also goes on to say, from my point of view, it feels more like number one contender after Stipe. Like, it, John, that doesn't make sense to me. Let me know if it makes sense to you guys. But to me, it doesn't kind of make sense. And then now we want to talk about John Jones record and John Jones image in the UFC compared to Alex. Right now, John Jones is coming off being stripped of his title three times, failing drug tests. 2017, he was suspended for 15 months. 2019, suspended for 15 months again. He hold, Right now, he holds the heavyweight champion title belt. But we look at Portan, he's flawless. Everything, flawless. Knockouts, flawless. Beating champions, flawless. Two divisions, Flawless. His character is likable. He doesn't speak much, but he's a likable person. Gives good energy. He's good with the media. People love this guy on social media. Whereas John Jones, only the hardcore fans are still rocking with him heavy because we know all his history and we know what he's done for the sport. Just like we, we, we just know. If you know John Jones, you know what he's done for the sport and it's crazy. So when you put one flawed image versus one clean image, yes, it's going to be a great fight and a great thing. Bad versus good but it's too soon. But then we have to be realistic and think about it. John Jones is getting older and so is Poetan. Poetan still looks kind of fresh and things, but when you look at their age, they're literally like the same age, like the guys are the same age. But when it comes to fighting age, John Jones has a lot of mileage. You can get two cars made at the same factory, same day, but one has been driven by six, seven owners and one has just got sold this year. It's gonna have less mileage. So. Poetan has less mileage on him. He's had to defeat less people with less gruesome fights that he had to get out of. So his body is still fresher, in my opinion, than John Jones. So I don't know if it's the perfect time for these two to collide. I don't think, I don't think Poetan should take this fight. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you guys think he should actually take this fight because it's kind of a little bit crazy that John Jones wants Poetan to jump all these hurdles just to get to him instead of taking it step by step and just at least being champion for a little while and not having to come off a defeat and then try to go back to his division and all of this yee-haw, yee -haw talk about it. So, I don't know. I feel kind of weird that John Jones is calling him out, but it would be a great fight. He's not wrong. It would be a great fight. It would sell numbers. Damn, I would stay up until 7 a.m. if I have to, to watch that fight. It doesn't matter, but I don't think it's fair and I don't think it's smart for Poetan to take that fight right now because I think right now, John Jones is hungry and we know what a hungry John Jones can do. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like, should Poetan take the fight? Should Dana make this happen? Should the commission allow this and let it happen? And hey, look, if it does happen and Poetan wins, which I believe he has a very good chance of doing, it's crazy because he's going to be three divi- That- Crazy. But yeah, let me know your opinions. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys 
next time.